Hey, lovely viewers. Number one, fruits. Keeping your stomach healthy is the best way to prevent stomach ulcers. Fresh fruits are an important part of our diet. They come with a world of benefits. I'm talking about vitamins and antioxidants. If you want to prevent stomach ulcers, making fruits part of your diet would be a step in the right direction. But remember, moderation is key. So you need to be careful about the amount that you eat. Keep in mind that not all fruits were created equal. Eat more apples and pomegranate, as they're good for your stomach. Make sure you eat apples with their skin. That's where almost all the fiber is. Grapes and berries are great too. You can make frozen popsicles if you're bored with having them on your own. And of course, strawberries and cherries should be included on this list. You can even make a fruit salad with berries, blackberries, and raspberries. Drizzle a bit of honey on it to make it even more delicious. Eat fresh fruits regularly to keep your gut health at the top of its game, but just know that some citrus fruits and juices may cause vomiting and discomfort. This is due to acid reflux. It's just better to avoid them. Do you love eating fruits? Which one is your favorite? Sound off in the comments section and start a conversation with our bestie community. Number two, vegetables. Vegetables are a blessing when it comes to health. Leafy greens, especially red and orange vegetables, are known to have special properties that protect your stomach. Most of the veggies are alkaline in nature. Eating them would help control the stomach acid, which is the main reason why you have peptic ulcers. So which veggies should you eat? The first one I would highly recommend is cucumber. Being cool as a cucumber certainly has a fair amount of truth to it. You'll be surprised to know how wonderfully effective it is in curbing excessive acid production in your stomach. In fact, researchers found sea cucumber can suppress gastric lesions and ulcers in their experiments. Experts recommend eating cucumber with the skin on. Its juice is also recommended for the relief of hyperacidity and gastric ulcers. Next in line are the leafy greens like kale, spinach, and cauliflower. They contain calcium and vitamin B, both of which work great on your stomach acid. They're loaded with antioxidants, boosting your immunity and protecting you from stomach infections. And of course, broccoli couldn't be left behind. This healthy veggie contains a compound that prevents excessive acid production. Impressive, isn't it? You can eat these veggies on their own or in the form of a salad. You can also steam them. Grilling or sauteing with olive oil would be great as well. Olive oil has fatty acids and it's believed it can help stop your stomach from making too much acid. You know what my favorite method of eating veggies is? I make a soup with them. Broccoli soup is especially delicious and you can top it with a hint of extra virgin olive oil. It's true that including a bowl of boiled veggies can be a great idea to help your stomach function for a long time. But do put a limit on eating too much salad or raw vegetables as they can be hard to digest when your stomach is already in trouble. Better avoid spicy peppers and tomatoes. They can generate reflux issues. Number three, lentils and lean proteins. Research states that the well-being of your body and your mind both depend on your gut health. But why? Your stomach houses several microbes that affect your health. They keep your body and brain functioning as they should. If there's any change to it, you may suffer from a lot of health issues. One of the key resources for a healthy stomach is fiber and protein. You need a good amount to repair your stomach's damaged tissues. In fact, experts recommend eating protein to provide essential amino acids for tissue protein synthesis. This promotes healing. And which food item has both? A good amount of protein and fiber? Lentils do! Fiber feeds the good bacteria of your gut. The microbes present in your gut get energy, nutrients, and vitamins from it to protect your stomach against ulcers, infections, and whatnot. Lentil soup is a great way to sneak them into your daily diet. It's easy to digest as well. You can add a pinch of turmeric, which reduces inflammation and holds healing properties. Number four, legumes. Most ulcers are caused by bacterial infections. A healthy and balanced meal is your best bet to keep ulcers at bay. Good nutrition is important for gut health. Your food should include natural sources of soluble fiber in each meal. Research shows that people who eat a high amount of soluble fibers are at a less risk of developing ulcers. Legumes provide an ample amount of soluble fiber and are a good source of energy as well. Number five, fish and seafood. Who would have thought that fish filet had so many benefits? You need protein in your diet and fish provides plenty of it. Oily fish like salmon, mackerel, and sardines contain a good amount of omega-3 fatty acids. 
They help to reduce the risk of ulcers by producing certain types of compounds. These compounds help to protect the lining of the stomach and intestines. Also, omega oil contains certain compounds that may be helpful in preventing ulcers. So even if you aren't consuming them, a fish oil supplement will help you to fight these ulcers. Before we move ahead, here's a video you might like. Watch and learn more about the early signs of pancreatic cancer. Number six, eggs. Eggs are rich in protein. Including them in your daily diet is great for you. Eggs are among the most commonly consumed foods on the planet. A single egg contains 13 grams of high quality protein. More than half of it is found in the egg white. Apart from that, eggs are also known to have vitamins and minerals. Ideally, it would be better to consume eggs cooked without any spices. Scrambled eggs are a good example, but it's important to make sure you aren't allergic to eggs before eating them. Number seven, whole soy food and plant-based milk. Soy-based products are slowly getting more popular. Cow's milk is not exactly considered ulcer friendly. In fact, it encourages acid production and can cause discomfort in your stomach. But what if you love your tea and coffee with milk? You can opt for a plant-based kind like soy or rice milk. Researchers conducted a study to see the effect of soy-based foods on people with ulcers. The group that contained soy-based products showed visible improvement within just two weeks. Number eight, fermented dairy foods. Fermented dairy foods are all the rage these days. Never thought your daily frozen yogurt dessert would get this popular. Well, it's a great probiotic and it's easily available at a low cost. What are probiotics? They're live bacteria or yeast with a lot of health benefits. You can either consume them as a supplement, drink them, or eat them. Probiotics increase the level of good bacteria in your stomach, providing support for your immune system. Number nine, healthy fats like avocado, olive oil, and nuts. A healthy stomach helps you combat infections and illnesses. We're all guilty of eating junk food, which has the opposite effect. Want a healthy gut? Eat a variety of foods from all food groups. A healthy meal plan is one that doesn't contain unhealthy fats, sugar, or added salt. Healthy fats include olive oil, nuts, and avocados. They maintain your stomach lining and prevent excessive acid production. Number 10, green tea. For many, green tea might seem to be the latest in thing, but it's more than just a fad. It's been used for its medicinal properties for years. Green tea is a known remedy for many stomach issues. It's nothing but an infusion of unfermented leaves from a certain plant species. Studies show that it can protect your stomach from harmful ulcers. Number 11, herbs and spices. Your diet is the most powerful tool when it comes to your health. Antioxidants are a valuable addition to a gut healthy diet. How? They protect the outer lining of your stomach and help the growth of good bacteria. This is an important job as any problem in our outer lining leads to several diseases and inflammatory conditions. Most herbs and spices are concentrated sources of antioxidants. Turmeric, ginger, garlic, and cinnamon are known to have antimicrobial properties that protect your stomach against ulcers. You can switch to honey instead of sugar or artificial sweetener. Do you have stomach ulcers? Do you plan on including any of these foods in your daily diet? Let us know in the comments below. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.